Hello, Bobcats and all you other SPS teachers out there. Brad Schreffler here, back to talk a little bit about something new. So, a lot of you probably will have received in the last day, or will sometime today, as this video is being recorded, have received an email about Land School Air. Here's the exciting stuff. Land School Air will work with at-home and in-person students. We will actually be able to screen, screen watch all of our students now fully once this is all installed and set up and ready to go. So to get us started, we need to go ahead and create our account. And I'm going to show you how to launch your first class. So click the link that you got in that email. That's going to be where we start the first time. Once this loads, you're going to go ahead and click sign in with Google, as we typically do. And then the typical prompt will come up to allow you to authorize and let you log in. That's all there is to sign up the first time, quick and easy. What I would recommend once this page has loaded is I would probably bookmark this page right here. I'm sure that at some point it'll get added into Launchpad, but for now, it's quick and easy to go ahead and just bookmark this. So I'm going to go Land School Air and just say done. So now I have it. So now that I'm in, I'll see the list of my classes right here, and this will show all my students. And I happen to know I have a seventh period student available, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my seventh period class. And we can look at some options here. So first of all, one of the first things you'll see is that green start class button. If we click that, we will start our class as it is, and any students that are online will, should automatically show up. So I've got a couple students that are on. And I can actually tell you this student is at home and this student is here on campus. So I can see quickly and easily that my students are here and available. Some of our basic available features, we can go ahead and click push a website so we can send a specific website to all of our students. We can blank out screens, we can blank all screens, or we can select specific students and then blank out specific students. And then we can also limit specific websites for those students. So now we have our basics ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings we have available. So we'll click the gear icon in the top left, and now we have some settings options. We, can, we can't mess with the name of the courses because those are automatically generated, but we can change our course icon. If we don't want all our courses to be the same icon, we can change those out. So for example, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and pick this little spaceship out of pencils icon and then click save. I can view my class roster in Clever. We're not going to need to mess with that. Those are auto -gener generated. In web limiting, if I click web limiting right now, the default option will be to block all websites. Like the old versions of Land School, I can give it a list of specific websites that I want to block or I can give it only a list of allowed websites I would like to block. So for example, let's say I only want them to go to Canvas. So we'll add instructure.com. We'll add that. We'll need ocpsps.net. We'll need google.com to get the account to link in. And then we'll do classlink.com because that's where they get class link to be able to log into Launchpad. So those would be some basic ones we want them to have access to. That would be the only allowed websites if, say, I'm giving them an exam on, um, on Canvas. Then I can also control blank screen options. So on the blank screen screen, I can change it to what the message is that they're going to see. I can change that message to whatever I would like. My personal favorite is I'm always watching. And then we have a couple different images we can pick from. And if we have an image on the internet somewhere, we can also just put that image directly onto uh, the screen as well if it's somewhere on the internet. So once we make those, we hit save. Now we are set and ready to go. So let's go ahead and we're going to blank out the screens of these two students who happen to be online right now. So I've selected those two students. I hit blank screens. And I'm going to just blank selected screens. So now I've got them blanked out. Click this again, and I will unblank both of their screens. And you'll see that will take a second to update. We can also go into viewing full screen on a specific student. So now we'll see their full screen course right here. Click that again to close out. 
and we can say the same thing on this one. Click that again to close it out. I hope that's given you guys an idea of the basics of how to use Land School Air now that we have it and are able to see at home and on in person students. As always, if you have comments or questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.streflerdosps.net. I'll be glad to help you guys out there. And I know you're going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.